Today, I am presenting to you the latest update on the ongoing construction of the flyover or overpass bridge in a global city in Anambra State, Nigeria. This is progress update number six, and it covers the ongoing fabrication of the reinforced concrete girders on site and within the ground spaces between the already constructed reinforced concrete bridge piers. Now, for your information or for the record, girders are larger and deeper and longer beams that are used to support and distribute heavier weight of a longer bridge deck structure and traffic loads above them. Now, I have previously presented one, the pipe foundation construction of this particular bridge structure. Also, I have previously presented the reinforced concrete piers substructure construction. Again, today, I am presenting to you the on-site fabrication of the reinforced concrete girders, which are one of the superstructure components of this concrete girder bridge. Now, listen. Now, you are watching the casting of the concrete for the support base of the reinforced concrete girders. Um, I believe um, the base, they are needed to make sure that the girders are level and they are straight. Um, you can see actually the, the base actually are fully reinforced. Um, that's what you are still watching. You are still looking at the, the base for the gutter casting. It, it, it's more like a form of uh, formwork, if you will, or part of the formwork. Now, you are watching the iron rod installation in the reinforced concrete girders. Um, you can see the iron workers or the rod men or the iron benders, if you will. Um, they are basically bending and fabrication, fabricating the iron rods uh, for the gutter reinforcement. Um, looking at it, you can see there are plenty of um, what appears to be number five uh, iron rods or what you can call 16 mm. Uh, number five is more like five over eight inch um, rods. Uh, most of them appear to be so. You can see the um, the bottom bars, and also you can see the top bars, the side bars, um, or what you can call the the bar that are bent more like rectangular bars, um, which you call the links or the, the stirrups for the beam. Um, look at the top, you can see the top bar, the bar sticking at the top that connects, that's supposed to connect uh, with the deck, with the bridge deck itself, um, or support the bridge deck, to tie the bridge deck together with the, with the girders. Um, like I said, it's form of um, superstructure, if you will. Now you are watching the casting, or the concrete casting, um, in the reinforced concrete girders itself. Uh, you can see the bucket, the concrete bucket. They are lowering it, bringing it down. Um, and also you can see the concrete truck itself that um, already have the concrete already mixed. Um, I'm quite sure they have um, uh, material engineers on site or at the plant where they are actually mixing the concrete. This concrete is already mixed and uh, basically uh, transferred to the trucks, to the uh, concrete truck itself. Uh, you can see the workers. Um, you can also see people walking around. Apparently, um, um, they allow the pedestrians or people to walk around the site. Um, I don't see any problem, but um, it might be a safety issue. But uh, they should uh, kind of uh, barricade it off, to, uh, especially within the area they are walking, to keep uh, people away from it. Uh, you can see the concrete. They, they are being basically placed in the bucket. It appears to be maybe three, three yard buckets. They are not actually filling at the top. And like I said, I don't know what the mix design is. Um, I'm quite sure they have people that are actually testing the concrete to make sure that they are properly mixed. They have the correct water cement ratio, if you will. Um, now you can still see people there. People are actually around the site. It seems that everybody are enjoying themselves. The workers are there. Um, you are still looking at it. You are still looking at the casting. 
uh, concrete casting or the concrete placement in the reinforced concrete girders. That's what you are still watching. You can see they are now the truck, uh, not the bucket itself. The, 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 the concrete bucket is being moved towards the girders. Uh, basically, they are trying to transfer the concrete into the girders. You can see the girders is in between the formwork. Um, very solid formwork you are looking at. Uh, well braced uh, from here. Uh, that's what you are still watching. Uh, you see the concrete. The workers, um, you know, they're using a crane. You can see the see this opening the um, the bottom of the bucket to let the concrete inside inside the gutter formwork. Uh, it appears to be a very long gutter. You can see. Um, that's what you're still looking at. Uh, very, very long gutter. Uh, again, I've stated that gutter is just a, a, a type of beam that is like deeper and longer and can carry more load. And you can see now, this is another item. Now they are kind of um, with bullet curing the reinforced concrete gutters. You know, after they, they've, they've poured it and placed it and allow it to sit for I don't know, maybe 24 hours, they stripped it. Now you are looking at them, they have weight ball up, uh, moisture. They moisture that um, uh, cloth, if you will, and probably they, are, they continue to moisture it and wait cure it for the, maybe about seven days or longer, three to seven days or longer, depending on, on uh, what type of um, testing they are conducting. Um, now, uh, now, another thing you are looking at now, you are looking at the gutter itself. It's been completed. They properly cured it and you are looking at it you can see the cable at the end those are post tension cables those cables are uh, enables those uh, gather to carry more load once they set it on top of the pier they will pull that cable they will tension it and anchor it probably on the on the pier itself uh, that will allow the gutter to carry more load to be stronger and um, uh, more durable and uh, you know be able to carry larger traffic and you can see it's very long so those cables there are very very necessary uh, they call post tension actually they're gonna put those cables after the, they erected it on top of the piers uh, everything looks good i mean you can look at it you can still see they are still have iron benders are still there uh, apparently they still have more um, concrete gutters uh, probably they need to cast i don't think they have the correct number of gutters they need i don't know how many gutters it may be about five one two three four five six it appears to be about six gutters on each of the piers once they start erecting it so if you multiply that they have five piers and then two apartments if you multiply that will give you the total number of the gutters they are they, they are casting so now everything looks good thank you for watching uh, please stay tuned for the next update. This is Vesta Varsity um, TV. Uh, please continue to watch, follow us, and uh, please subscribe. And then uh, see you later. Okay, bye for now. Thank you.